Keith Sikora knows pain, but he has also tasted triumph. A Gulf War veteran and King County Sheriff's deputy, Keith had already more than answered the call of duty. I've always been that person to try to help. A special edition of NBC Nightly News. And then, terrorists declare war on the United States. America's darkest day. Keith enlisted in the Air Force, eventually serving with the bomb squad in Afghanistan, where in an instant, his life was changed forever. Felt like somebody hit me in the back with a baseball bat. Apparently struck by a bullet. I went down. His body armor had torn into an artery. 32 hours later, I started having strokes. So I had lost the ability to walk. But this warrior would not give up easily. I spent a year in Walter Reed. Um, I had to learn to walk and talk, um, use my arm. As Keith's body and mind continued to heal, he took up adaptive archery, finding the target any way he could. Get set and fire away. Even now, two for two. He's giving back to his country and his newly adopted sport. Relaxed, just shoot. As a competitor, instructor, and coach. Three years into shooting, I made the national team. There you go. Keith Sikora continues to prove he can take a hit and keep on fighting. If you don't keep going, what do you got?